are guides, we are kings. We march in faith, cause we believe we can. Change the world to what it needs. Stand against our enemies, cause we can. Yeah. Kings demanding change cause we believe we can And he shall put a yoke of iron 
upon thy neck, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So he said, and he shall put a yoke of iron. Come closer, Dwayne. Check this out. He said, and he shall put a what? Read it again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. What are we reading? It's the Bible. Right. Not known to our history is Bible history. That's right. Our history, black history, is Bible history. It's telling you why we in our condition. It's telling you why we being afflicted. It's telling you why the black man's on the bottom. It's telling you why we get a shot down the street. It's telling you why our water's being poisoned in Newark. Because God allowed it to happen because right. we're rebellious people. Because we didn't want to listen to God. He said, I'm going to put the other nations against you, over you. Read that part again. And he and the nations, the white man, the, Latin, the white man, the Chinese man, the Arab man, and he said to what? Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. When did this happen? What people did this happen to? Other to the black man in America in the 1619 translated slave trade. The reason why the slave trade happened is because God allowed it to happen. Because God said this is what's going to happen for your rebelliousness. God says I'm going to put these curses upon you because you don't want to listen to me. You don't want to be the man I made you to be. You don't want to keep my commandments. So God says I'm going to put the worst of the nations against you. Read that. Go to that Ezekiel. Check this out. Ezekiel 7 and verse. 24. Read. Wherefore, I will bring the worst of the heathen. Verse 23. Start verse 23. Read. Verse 23. Read. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crime. The Bible says make a chain, because the land is full of bloody crime. Lord, it's not Lord full of bloody crime. Murder. Death. Murder rate. The mur Newark is number 14 or 15 on a national scale for a murder rate. Newark is worse than Chicago. A lot of people don't even know that. We just came from Chicago a couple weeks ago. But Newark surpassed Chicago. But they keep that silent. Read that part again. For the land is full of bloody crime. Another word for crime is sin. The land is full of bloody sin. We got young brothers, Latin kings, blood, flips, purple street kids. The land is full of bloody crime. Shooting your son down on a block in the hoods. I used to be a teacher in Newark. I used to live in this area. So I know what I'm talking about. Young little second graders, third graders come to school with a, a gun. Shooting up the school because they didn't want a, a, a child was upset with a teacher, a teacher disciplined them. So they tell the cousins, they tell the cousins what the principal did, so what they do? They come and do a drive by and shoot up the school. Read that again. Where the land is full of bloody crime. Newark, New Jersey, Chicago, Detroit, um, Michigan, whether it be um, Camden, wherever blacks and Hispanics um, live, the land is full of bloody crime. Black on black crime. Read. And the city. What do you say, brother? I can't hear you. Yeah, Canada's crazy. But why is it everywhere we go, you got two parts of town? You got the nice side of town, and this nice part of Newark. And you get the bad side of town. And where the who lives in the bad part of town? Our people. Statistics show that you know like you be killed in New York. New York. <laughs> you see that? It's crazy. We did it. Read on. And the city is full of violence. And the city is full of violence. Black on black crime. This city is full of violence. Read. Wherefore, I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess. Their houses. You hear that? Guys. So read that again. Read it again. Ezekiel 7, verse 24. Read. Wherefore, I will bring the worst of the heathen. You will bring the worst of the heathen. The ones that don't care about you. The wise say, you think it's a coincidence? And with this and the ghettos and the inner city neighborhoods of Newark, there's a lead problem. But on the nice side, the white side, the water's clean. And Flint, Michigan, where's their lead problem? In the hoods where black people live. Right. But you don't hear that problem elsewhere. And Nestle, Nestle, the water company, Nestle, they have a reservoir not far, about 20 miles from Flint, Michigan. Nestle, the water company, has a reservoir 20 miles from Flint, Michigan. But you say, you're telling me that they can't provide clean water for the people? You're telling me that they can't provide a solution? America, one of the richest, the most powerful country in the world? You tell me that they can't get the money together to change the pipes? How long has this been going on Flint, Michigan? Two to three years. Two to three years. We got people having skin problems. 
you have mental retardation, mental illnesses, and know what the solution was? We will give you scholarships. Listen, they're not gonna live long to get that scholarship. They're not gonna be in the right mind long enough to get a scholarship, to get a scholarship. God says you will bring the worst of the heathen. You know it. And they shall possess their houses. And they shall possess our houses. What is that called now? Gentrification. Right. Gentrification. And they shall possess the houses. And you know what they do? They bring the cities to such a low level. I will also make the pump of the strong to see, and their holy places shall be the fire. And our holy place shall be the fire. Now give me a breaking three verse 14. But we don't realize <laughs> that this is a conspiracy to destroy blacks and Latinos, which are the true biblical Israelites according to the Bible. And it's the conspiracy runs deep. And the conspiracy goes into our educational system. The conspiracy goes into our food, yes. the processed food that they put in our yes, community. Because you don't even know that the very foods that we eat is poison, it's right. processed, it's genetically modified organisms. Read. A bigger three verse 14. Read. The bitter strike, strike through with the staves, the head of his villages. Read. They came out as a whirlwind to scatter me. So let's talk about Christ. But Christ made the second return. Christ the black man called to Bible. How do you know Christ is a black man? He's come back for his people. That's He's come right. back for you. That's He's come right. back for the poor. He's come back for the oppressed. He's come for the downtown. He's come for those that have been afflicted. That's right. He's come for those that have been crying. Those that are in sorrow. Christ is come for you, black men and Hispanics. Read. Their rejoicing was to devour the poor secretly. You hear that? That other nations rejoicing was to devour the poor what? Secretly. They rejoicing was to devour the poor what? Secretly. They devouring us secretly. They're killing us. They're putting drugs in our neighborhood. And what do we do? You create a, you create a condition of poverty. What happens? What happens? You create a, a, a condition of poverty. You look for something. Something to take the pain away. Something to take the stress away. Something, something to take that feeling away. So what happened? You create a condition of poverty, you take the jobs away from us, then you put drugs in the community. So because we can't escape the poverty, we can't escape the pain, we can't escape the pressure, we can't escape sorrow, we can't escape the pressure. There's a substance that's gonna substitute for that pain, that oppression, that sorrow. So what? Let me shoot up some heroin. Let me slip some coke, some crack. Let me light up this blunt. Let me get that what? Um, smoke some weed. Let me get drunk. Read that again. Thou didn't strike through with his slaves, uh -huh. the head of his villages. Read. They came out as a whirlwind to scatter me. Read. Their rejoicing was as to devour the poor secretly. Their rejoicing was to devour the poor secretly. Their rejoicing was to destroy us. Read it. God, you, what should I say out to black man? Who are you according to the Bible? Who are you according to the Bible? What's your God giving that shout out to you? You see a black man, which is the color. How you doing, sister? What's your name? Chris, how you doing, Chris? Nice to meet you. Let me ask you a question. What's your nationality according to the Bible? Oh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Read that part again. Thou didn't strike through with his state, mm -hmm. the head of his villages. Read. They came out as a whirlwind to scatter me. Read. Their rejoicing was as to devour the poor secretly. Their rejoicing was to devour the poor secretly. We don't even know who we are. You don't even know that we call ourselves black. We call ourselves African Americans. Not know that we're the descendants of Jacob. We're the lost in the house of Israel that Christ talked about. That's we're right. the lost. We're the poor. We're the oppressed. We're the afflicted that the Bible speaks about. Now you will see the true men of God. We are not black men. We are the Israelites.
a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.